Guys, I've been watching Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk Edge Runners. It's a new anime based on the video game Cyberpunk 2077. I'm actually very interested in playing this game because this anime is really good. I don't recommend watching this anime if you are averse to... <coughs> oh. <coughs> Uh, if you're averse to violence and a little bit of nudity, it's weird because it's not like actual nudity, but it's like robot nudity because in this society in 2077, everyone's, they all have mod modified robot parts, like not actual nudity. It's like robot nudity. That's so kind of weird. But yeah, if you're averse to that, I don't recommend watching, but the story is really good. The animation's fantastic. I've been watching that today. It's actually really good. I'm actually interested in getting the game now because it's based on a game. Cyberpunk 2077. This game. With a PS4. It's an RPG. What's the gameplay like? I guess one could say I'm from my own Haywood. Alright, summary. Biomodern packs are your attacks. Things packs. Up from easy to normal. This next it's kind of like... I swear I just saw a jacket. I've, it's kind of like GTA plus COD in the future. What does the lockdown to for the nerdist? Necessary security measures. Fill an entire enemy light. Their alert indicator will be- Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't actually look that fun. Never mind. Now, if they made a video game based on the anime, I feel like I'd be a lot more interested because the art style, the vibe, and the flavor of the anime is very unique. It's kind of like a modern cowboy bebop almost. So I really like it. Like, look at this. The art is freaking amazing. It looks so cool. It's, and it's really good. Voice acting is fantastic as usual, but the animation is really, really good. Studios Trigger. Oh, they make Kill a Kill. Oh. If you've watched Kill a Kill, this is definitely like that. The art style and animation is very similar. <laughs> Cyberpunk, highly recommend it. The art style is fantastic. The characters are very interesting and the themes are very interesting as well. It really explores the power dynamics and power politics of massive corporations and people in power, which is very interesting, where even if you think you're free and you're independent and you're like above the system and you're not part of the system, you're still beholden to humongous corporations, which are kind of like the bad guys in this anime. But at the same time, there aren't really bad guys because it's more about the internal struggles of the main character, David Martinez. But it's kind of like today too, huh? It almost is a similar analogy and actually can be applied to today where even me right now streaming, I am streaming on Twitch, which is owned by Amazon, which is a massive corporation. And I can't be streaming and I am beholden to Amazon by streaming on on this platform. In the same way, this operating system, Windows, I'm beholden to Microsoft. And if I'm not relying on Microsoft, I can't be doing this and what I'm doing right now. Or I have a MacBook. I'm relying on Apple and these humongous, humongous corporations that operate everything and give us everything that we need. They're the ones really pulling the strings behind the scenes and things like that. And so I thought it was very interesting because you can apply a lot of the themes in this anime too today. And on top of that, it explores a lot of identity issues, internal struggles, honor, family, things like that. Redemption, just kind of like David Martinez is a young guy. So he's just finding his way in this dystopian, well, not dystopian, but futuristic society where everything and anything can be implanted into you so you can become like a cyborg so anyways this is a really good anime i highly recommend it but again if you're not into gore because it's really gory and also there's a lot of weird cyborg nudity <laughs> and like robot nudity so if you're not into that and if that's not your thing i don't recommend watching for me my conscience is like okay with it because it's not actual nudity and on top of that like it's robots so i'm just like yeah pick your poison i guess but i highly recommend this anime i've been watching this today so yes yes sir